Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome back once again to another slice of my. I'm now calling it my EGX vlog. I've given up on the whole YouTube heaven thing because it just sounds crap. So it's now EGX vlog. It's day two. <clears throat> Excuse the throat. I've got a bit of a bad throat. Um, only did one real big game today. I'm kind of a bit disillusioned with the whole EGX thing at the moment. Lots and lots and lots and lots of school kids run around. There's bus loads of them turned up this morning. And you could tell that there, there, there was way, way too many people there. I thought, I, I thought it was a lot busier than it was yesterday. Uh, the big game that we hit was Far Cry 5. And it's sort of like set in the way. Like, my cousin married my brother, sister kind of atmosphere where you've got to go and liberate them. Wasn't really that impressed with it. It was a bit sort of samey. It's, it's Far Cry. You know what you're going to get with Far Cry. It's the same game every single time. Um, the what we were playing it, it was sort of a little bit glitchy and a little bit sort of uh, wasn't that good. Uh, we had a good old one that day. We sat down, and watched a little bit. Wait, Tony and Robbie sat down and watched a lot more Street Fighter live ESL competition thing that they've got running at the minute. Uh, it was pretty good from what I've seen. A lot of the sweaty people who come from all over the world. There was one lad who flew in from Japan. There was people there from Belgium and France and everything just playing this little competition for a few minutes each. Um, it's quite exciting to watch on a big screen like that so you can see why people would sit and enjoy it. I wasn't that fussed, not too bothered. I played more indie games than anything else today. Um, a lot of retro stuff as well. I quite enjoy the retro. I love the retro, in fact. These don't. Don't care. i going to do it myself. Uh, track and field. Blast track and field. But one of the button sticks, which was a bit annoying, considering there's only three buttons. Uh. That one sticks. It, it kind of makes it a little bit harder. Even my big monkey paws are smashing them off the, the screen. Nah, I still can't do it properly. Uh, also met up with the game shed lads. Hello. It took us three fucking years to eventually meet the game shed lads, and it was an absolute pleasure and joy. I got to sit and chat with them. Like I, I watch them on stream and everything all the time. Not all the videos. Um, it's it's nice to be able to actually sit down and say hello and have a handshake and a cuddle. And I got a game shared business card, which will go up next to me, get a game set up in the corner, pride of place. Um, I had a nice little bit of crack with them. It, it's it's nice to get like a different opinion on the games that I'm playing as well. I also recommend a few games. I went and tried them. Uh, I was quite impressed. Quite, con quite good games going. The indie section is much bigger this year. And I think it's a bit too big. There's not enough big games. There's not enough AAA titles. There's a handful, there's pretty much only one game that we're going to play now, which is Assassin's Creed, the new Assassin's Creed. I'm not an Assassin's Creed player. Robbie really, really wants to play it, so we'll say we'll go along and have a shot of it. Um, I will go, I will play it, I will try it. I'll give you a genuine, decent review. But I sat and played every single little game that I'd spied yesterday, today. Project Cars 2, twitchy, way too simulated. Uh, you had to get under 5 minutes to get a prize, I got 5 minutes 11 seconds. Surprised I stayed on the track that long. Uh, it looks good, Look, in fact it looks brilliant. The chair I was sitting in was unreal, I think Robbie's actually going to buy the chair I sat in to play a game. Uh, it looks fantastic, it plays nice but it's very twitchy, it's very... Uh, it's hard to get in a straight line. If you, you're chuntering along and it, it'll sort of go from side to side which is a bit off putting and I could probably mess with the controls a little bit better. But eh, it was okay, it wasn't too bad. I didn't mind Project Cars 1, it was a little bit boring. I love Grid, which follows on from that. Um, uh, uh, probably not, probably not a purchase, in fairness. Uh, what else did I play, what else did I play, what else did I play? Lots of games that I can't remember the name of. There was a daft little racing game, which looked like it was made on a Spectrum. Which I think I sat and played for about 15 minutes, it was quite good. would buy it. Most of the stuff I wouldn't buy. Um, there was other games as well. Robbie backed a game a while back, Battalion, nineteen forty-four, something stupid like that. Um, basically, the the call that at the time they're going to go back to the roots and they're going to do kind of a, a Call of Duty style game. Back in the day, no score streaks. It's just you, a gun, and some other people, and you're going to shoot them. We waited, and we got there, and it was keyboard and mouse, which already is a fucking mark off for me because I don't like keyboard and mouse. And it was the biggest piece of shit I have ever fucking played. Not only did I get spawn killed many fucking times, but I also got the one fucking keyboard and mouse that just didn't work. I tell to do something, wouldn't fucking do it. 
I was shooting people, not fucking dying. I get one bullet, I fucking die. So, battalion, you can fuck right off. Not bad at all. I know Robbie backed it. I know Robbie's really, really looking forward to it. But, uh, definitely, definitely not for me. Uh, there was a, another racing game which is based on virtual racing. And, again, I've, got, I've, I've actually taken a picture of some of the names of games that I've been playing. So I can remember them. So I could write them down when I got back here. Have I done that? No. So there's a virtual racing game. Uh, kind of virtual racing, Sega Rally kind of thing, both mixed together. Really twitchy. But the last did say when she gave us a headset, she went, Oh, it's in very, very early alpha stage. It was enjoyable, but it was very twitchy. Um, that might be a laugh. I'll probably try and put the name in the title if I can. Uh, what else do I play? What else do I play? Uh, again, there's lots and lots of games I played that I didn't bother looking at the name. You just sort of sit down and go, Ooh, the space. And you sit down and play it. A few minutes worth on each game isn't really long enough to give you a proper review. Um, that was pretty much it. We wandered around a lot today. We sat down a lot. My legs are knackered. We even left a little bit early. We're even considering not doing a day. We have seen everything. And this is the big gripe with Ajax at the moment. There's not enough AAA titles. There's not enough support. Xbox have got a stand which is about the size of this hotel room. There's nothing fucking good on Xbox at all. It's tiny, tiny little portion. The PlayStation 1 spreads out over one whole side and sit down with beanbags. The Xbox 1, it's a queue that goes all the way around the outside to a little point in the middle that, that there's no real games to play. Um, There's no big games, and that, that's the whole point of this whole video. Not enough big games. Lots of indie games which I like, but they need to sort of up the ante a little bit more because at the moment, AGX, I don't think I'm coming back next year. Sorry. I've been sneaky. Thank you very much. And I'll catch us next time.